Ever since humanity started to exist, every bipedal living being called human has evolved to the point of becoming inventors for the sake of improving their lives. This concept has become a chain factor in multiple necessities that the human needed for survival. Necessity is the mother of invention, said Plato. If that's the case, then why do humans need art in the first place? And since we are on the topic, are video games art? Stay with me, we're gonna talk about that. First, we need to discuss the basic question. What is art? A quick search will state it as the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Well, a simple way of putting it, Art is a way to immortalize or shape ideas, concepts, phenomena and dreams even. It can evoke emotions such as love, fear, amusement or sadness. But it can also be used to teach ideas in a reliable and sophisticated way. Having said that, as years went by, humans have never felt satisfied with these necessities covered and so they needed to improve them as years went by. If necessity is the mother of invention, like Plato said, then progress is the father of discontent, said David Rockefeller. Whether you agree with the ideals or morals of this man, you can deny the fact that there's truth in what he said. Just like weapons, buildings, farming, markets and other aspects of our everyday life have evolved over the years, art is no different from this phenomenon. After all, it's been manifested in painting, sculpting, music, poems, photography, novels, and even in the later years, movies have been added to the catalogue of what could be considered art. Did you notice that? Movies have been added to this catalogue of what could be considered art. Interesting, isn't it? Who is to say what can or cannot be considered art? Well, the simple answer would be art critics, am I right? But just like some art pieces can be considered abstract or keep beauty reserved in the beholder's eye, there isn't a strict concept of what can be or not be considered art at this point. Let's start from the beginning. It wouldn't be until October of 1958. Sorry for butchering this name, but when physicist William Higginbotham started what would eventually become a phenomenon that would revolutionize the entertainment industry. With the use of a small analog computer that could display various curves, including the path of a bouncing ball on a, and sorry for butchering this again, oscilloscope, he either intentionally or unintentionally would create what would be the first video game ever. A game that would resemble a tennis court with a small bouncing ball that went from one side of the screen to the other, but only with the active interaction of a human being. Well, basically you now know how video games were born, but what does this faceless weirdo that looks like a Redditor have to say about this? Does he have any idea what it takes to properly define what can or cannot be considered art? Well, no, I mean, just look at him. Look at how creepy he looks. Does he look like an expert? Oh, I don't think so. But leaving that aside, it is important to understand the skepticism of some people when it comes to video games. After all, they were nothing but a virtualized representation of real-life activities when they first began to exist. Even the most well-known known game in the world, Pong, was basically tennis. Well, ping pong, it's literally in the name, but you know what I mean. But the same way that love, fear, amusement, sadness and other emotions were represented in various art forms, so have experiences. My question is, how is it that an interactive experience in which you, the player, inhabit a different body in a world that would seem either impossible or improbable, not be considered art. 
After all, a lot of video games have even taken inspiration of various art forms and culminated in products like Dante's Inferno, Castlevania, or Call of Good Hulu. Just to name a few, of course, whether these games were profitable or successful is a topic for another day, so make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm really interested in covering the financial aspect of video games in the future. Yeah, the same guy that talks about art as if he were an expert? Yeah, I want to see that. It will be fun nonetheless, I promise. Back to the main topic. It was understandable to believe that video games could not be considered a form of art not because they lacked any quality whatsoever, but because of the main concept of being an entertainment device mostly directed for kids. Could toys be considered art then? Well, there's a big discussion regarding that as well, but let's not digress for the moment. Since video games were still a primitive concept by the time they became massively popular in the 80s, there was no parameter to truly qualify games when it comes to how artistic they could be. It's even worse when you think about the many genres that the industry has to offer and the kind of audience it's directed to. As an example, it's a text-based game with procedurally generated level less artistic than a platformer. Is a platformer less artistic than a JRPG with a very intense plot? Is a JRPG less artistic than a first-person shooter because it doesn't have the same adrenaline rushing impact. Like I mentioned previously, every art media keeps its beauty reserved in the beholder's eye. In my case, for example, I don't really enjoy the Metal Gear series games, but even I can appreciate how much effort and details was put into it to make it a genuine and unique experience. You may have many games about stealth, soldiers and guns, but there's only one franchise as unique as Metal Gear. And even if it's not my cup of tea, I simply love the fact that it can be someone else's. Also, let's not forget that video games are not really that different from other media forms. It's been evolving over the years. People have experimented with newer resources and technologies to get a new outcome it is directed to a specific kind of audience and they can evoke emotions that are not easy to replicate. From the wonders of exploring an unknown land all by yourself, to destroying an army trying to conquer the world, from a thief that becomes a hero, to a galactic soldier that has to save the universe. The list can go on and on, but not just for the sake of this argument but because the possibilities are endless. It would be naive of me to say that video games are not art at this point in life because even though this has been said a million times already and it has been discussed over many channels already, let's not forget that video games nowadays are as profitable if not more than movies. The difference is that video games may have music, poetry, elaborated or even simplistic drawings and graphics, but video games stand out the most because it does what no other media does. Remember what I mentioned at the beginning of the video about the first video game ever? That's right, let's read it again. A game that would resemble a tennis court with a small bouncing ball that went from one side of the screen to the other, but only with the active interaction of a human being. That's right, video games are the only media form where it will not do anything unless you participate actively. You can come with the argument that you can just watch Let's Play, a streaming session from another user playing the same game, but the reality is that there are two factors to keep into account when it comes to video games. Number one, the experience will not progress until a user is directly involved in the game. 
And number two, your experience playing that game will not be the same as someone else's. Yes, video games have indeed evolved and until this moment, there's not a single media form that can come close to replicating what this can do. You can listen to the soundtracks, look at the graphics and even appreciate just the story. But video games offer something unique that could not be replicated even to this day. Video games are the only art media that can provide experiences. This is Juana. Thank you for watching.